Huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. When you're in college, life moves by so fast. People come and go, classwork and exams run their course, and rarely do you get the chance to stop, sit back, and realize the potential opportunities that you can be missing out on. If there's one thing that I learned over this summer at Stanford, it's that opportunities come in all types of forms, so you have to be attentive enough to recognize them and go for them and see what happens. Fortunately for me, I've started to truly understand this through my MIT experiences. So this summer I seized the opportunity to connect and build my network with some absolutely incredible students, faculty, and staff at Stanford. Within 24 hours, I flew from San Francisco to Brooklyn and back to attend the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 launch events at Barclays Center, all while succeeding in my research and lab and continuing to express my voice and my love for the tech through this channel. Hi guys, it's KJ the MIT Tech Guy here, and I'm finally settled in here on MIT campus. I just drove 3,000 miles to bring my car over from California to Boston. That was a really great experience because I had a cool co-pilot in Sebastian, and also it was cool seeing a bunch of states. In this video, I'm going to reflect on the time I had at Stanford over this summer, and I'm going to also give some tips on how I stand out. So make sure to stick around to the end for some life updates and those tips. So this summer I was part of the Stanford SURF program and it's a program where it gave all of us the experience of being a grad student going to research every day. And it also prepared us for grad school. So we took GRE prep courses and we had different panels preparing for life at Stanford specifically. If you haven't watched my Why I Chose Engineering video, I really recommend it. I spent a lot of time on that and all of the people in the program for the most part were a part of that video. and. I think it gives some great perspectives on why different people chose engineering to even begin with. I specifically was working in the Structures and Composites Lab in their Aeroastro department under Tanai, who was actually a really great mentor and grad student at Stanford right now. I'm not going to get that much into the specifics of the project, but I worked on a smaller part of some larger project that the lab is working on. and. It was this active turbulent system that will actually allow our lab to make experiments and have the machine learning model more robust for more real life environments. So overall the summer was really great and I got a chance to meet a lot of really great individuals and I got a chance to do some machining and do some actual coding of Arduino which I hadn't done before. I got a chance to learn CAD and really it was just a summer where I gained a bunch of different experiences and skills and that's why in this video I wanted to talk about how important it is to seize the opportunities that present themselves because you might not be too sure that it's even an opportunity that is presenting itself and I want you to be aware of those so you can go and succeed. So going into this summer, I could have just made my summer just focused on research and really just try to get work done and nothing else. That would have been totally fine and I still would have thought it was a successful summer. But I knew I had to take it a step further and I knew I had to go take the initiative to actually really get to know some people if I wanted this summer to be worthwhile. Stanford's where I want to go for grad school, so I was trying to make as many connections as I possibly could. Lasting connections, not just saying hi. So with our cohort of around 20 people, they came from different universities and had a bunch of different backgrounds and different experiences. So I really wanted to get to know them on a more personal basis and I can honestly say that I've met 19 people that I hope I have a lifelong connection with. They were a bunch of really great individuals and they're all really driven and motivated. And that is a great energy to have around. So we did stuff outside of research, like we went to a trampoline park, or we went to the Santa Cruz beach, or we went hiking. And it's in those moments where we got closer and you make the connection beyond just the research. And that's when you have now a support system that can help you with just about anything, whether it's academic or personal issues. 
You can even expand your network beyond academics. Like I go to the gym or go play basketball and I meet people that do things outside of engineering. And I think that's really cool because you expand your perspective as to how you view certain things because you have people studying say psychology or studying political science and you just broaden your knowledge base and you also broaden your network so you don't have a bunch of connections that do exactly the same thing. You'll have people that you can go to in various fields and I think that's really beneficial in just progressing in life and continuing because if you just close off to your inner circle group of friends then you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities. Trust me. And these people that you may have never met before if you hadn't just said hi after a basketball game could very well be the person that connects you with your next full-time job opportunity or your next internship. So just go out and meet people regardless of whether it's in the classroom, in an office, or doing whatever. As you're reaching out and creating those connections and creating more opportunities, make sure to sit back and remember the people that you have your core connections with. I'm talking about family and friends. The people that have been with you since day one, that have been there supporting you, lifting you up, and encouraging you to go reach for the highest goals. This past summer, even though I was at Stanford, I took two opportunities to go drive back down to Southern California to just spend some time with my family. I didn't have anything really planned, but I just wanted to see them and just say hi and show that I still love them and I still want to support them. And also, it's just great being home sometimes. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I took this crazy 24-hour trip where I went from San Francisco to Brooklyn and back within the same day. And this was for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 launch event and I wouldn't have even gotten invited to that event if I hadn't reached out to Michael Fisher a couple of years ago. I saw that he was from the Boston area and I just tweeted at him and reached out because I was a smaller YouTuber and I needed a mentor at that moment because I really didn't know how to navigate this YouTube space. And from there, he recommended that I go to CES and at CES, I met a bunch of incredible people from various companies and other YouTubers. And those connections that I made with companies like Samsung are long lasting and they're inviting me to TV events and these phone launches, which is incredible. And at these phone launches, I meet more Samsung reps and more YouTubers where I can only expand my network. And from there, opportunities just start increasing and increasing and I get to meet a lot of really cool people and I get to go to a lot of really cool places. And it all just stemmed back from just me reaching out and creating that initial connection. So really just don't be afraid to put yourself out there because the worst thing that someone could say is no. So as you can see, opportunities have a bunch of different forms and a lot of them stem from just creating those initial connections because connections just expand your network and it's like a web of connections where you just get endless opportunities because you don't know which network it's going to come from. You can get cool job opportunities from one person and from a completely other person, you can get a tremendous opportunity to say travel the world and you just never know. So this stems back to my core value of just going out and believing in yourself. You're the only person that can make any of these opportunities actually come to fruition. So you have to believe in yourself and just put yourself out there. You will run into roadblocks and there will be people that just ignore you, but you just have to keep pushing and keep working hard and the opportunities will present themselves with time. You just have to keep regrouping and keep staying confident within yourself. And before I close this video, I promised a tip on how I stand out and that's with my very own website, one that you can create with Squarespace. Squarespace and all of their really aesthetic templates made it super easy for me to make a website that not only looks phenomenal, but also allows me to tell my story. I can show what I do in terms of my YouTube videos and I can also show what I do academically, all in one place, it's great. Squarespace allows you to schedule posts for the future. So if you have a blog or writing portfolio and want to space out your posts or post at more ideal times, you can easily do so with Squarespace. And with Squarespace's traffic overview feature, you can track trends and page visits and views to better optimize your posting. Go to squarespace.com slash mitechguide to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. 
As for this channel, I have some really cool camera comparisons in the works with this Note 10 Plus. And I also have a review coming of the iPad Pro and I'm even going to put out a room tour soon. So make sure you subscribe and have the notification bell clicked to stay up to date on those videos. As always, the best place to keep track of what I'm doing is on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and maybe shoot me a DM or comment on a picture or something. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.